150 years ago, the business corporation was a relatively insignificant institution. Today, it is all pervasive, like the church, the monarchy, and the Communist Party in other times and places, the corporation is today's dominant institution. This documentary examines the nature, evolution, impacts, and possible futures of the modern business corporation. What is a corporation? It is under the law a legal person. These are a special kind of persons who have no moral conscience, designed by law to be concerned only for their stockholders. I just can't be personally responsible. Maybe you better incorporate. There are companies that make our lives better, and that's a good thing. The problem comes in the profit motivation. Liz Claiborne jackets, $178, and the workers were paid 74 cents. Nike assigns a time frame, 6.6 .6 minutes to make the shirt. That means the wages come to 3 tenths of 1% of the retail price. Of course they make a profit, and it's a good thing. In our search for wealth and for prosperity, we created something that's going to destroy us. I never gave a thought to what we were taking from the earth. I didn't have an environmental vision. In devastation there is opportunity. When the September 11th situation happened, the first thing you thought about was, well, how much is gold up? You can manipulate consumers. Is it ethical? I don't know. But our goal is to move products. It's always going to be there, so you may as well have faith in it. There are those who intend that one day everything will be owned by somebody. Within less than 10 years, a handful of global companies will own directly or through license the actual genes that make up the evolution of our species. I said, you know, this is news. This is stuff people need to know. And he said, we just paid $3 billion for these television stations. The news is what we say it is. Capitalism today commands the towering heights and has displaced politics and politicians as the new high priests and reigning oligarchs of our system. Does there need to be some measure of accountability? Yes. And I think the business community recognizes that. I still happen to think the United States is the greatest place in the world to invest. We have some shakeups that are going on because of a few bad apples. These are not just a bunch of bad apples. This is just a few bad apples. It's not just a few bad apples. We've got to get rid of the bad apples. You can start with Tyco. Bad apples. We know all about WorldCom. Bad apples. Xerox Corporation. Bad apples. Arthur Anderson. Bad apples. Enron, obviously. Bad apples. Kmart Corporation. The fruit cart is getting uh, a little more full. I don't think it's just a few apples, unfortunately. I think this is the worst crisis of confidence in uh, business. What's wrong with this picture? Can't we pick a better metaphor to describe the dominant institution of our time? Through the voices of CEOs, whistleblowers, brokers, gurus and spies, insiders and outsiders, we present the corporation as a paradox, an institution that creates great wealth but causes enormous and often hidden harms. I gotta be honest with you, when the September 11 situation happened, I didn't know that, the, <laughs> and I must say, and I wanna, and I wanna, wanna say this because it's, I wanna take it lightly, it's not a light situation, it's a, a devastating act, uh, it was really a bad thing, it was one of the worst things I've seen in my lifetime, you know. But, I will tell you, and every trader will tell you, who was not in that building, and who was buying gold and who owned gold and silver, that when it happened, the first thing you thought about was, well, how much is gold up? I said to my wife, you know, we both are, you know, sons and daughters of auto workers in Flint, Michigan. There isn't a single one of us back in Flint, any of us, including us, who ever stopped to think, 
This thing we do for a living, the building of automobiles, is probably the single biggest reason why the polar ice caps are going to melt and end civilization as we know it. There's no connect between, I'm just an assembler on an assembly line building a car, which is good for people in society. It moves them around. But never stop to think about the larger picture and the larger responsibility of what we're doing. Ultimately, we have to, as individuals, accept responsibility for our collective action